Welcome to episode 7 of the No Code Ninja series. In this episode, we'll be building a text automation bot that works through Twilio, integrated with Make, and a whole bunch of other tools. I want to talk about a little bit about the process around how this bot works and what was the context around this bot. So for me, this context was around appointment setting. And for those who don't know, Appointment setting is a service in which you can use to qualify a lead. So in this scenario, I was working with a client and they do fencing solutions. So what they were doing is running a whole bunch of ads and uh, having a whole bunch of leads come into their business. See, the thing is that they just don't have enough time to call every lead and we need to verify the quality of each lead. So we built this bot and it works really simply. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to just showcase the process, the individual tools, the setup that I went through, and then I'll probably end up with a demo of of it working so you can have a look at that. And if you have any questions about how this works, then just leave them in the comments and we can address them. So let's just jump into it, right? So basically these are the questions that the text bot is going to talk about when we get a specific lead coming through. So basically when a lead expresses interest, we get a mobile number and we trigger a Twilio text automation. And basically these are the questions that we ask. We thank the lead for inquiring with us. And then we wanna get a bit more information about that lead. We wanna qualify that lead. So for this context, we were asking about what type of uh, fencing that they were interested in, if they can provide their address, um, and when is a good time to further chat to the lead. So, you know, we can really get more information and give them the right information to get a quote for their fencing. And then it ends with a, a thank you. So really what's happening is that, you know, for each stage, we are collecting individual details like the job type, the location, the call preference. We even went through and built in some type of handling around, you know, if we don't get a response back, we're going to wait an hour and ask them if they're still interested. And then if they're not, then, you know, we just close that. And you can see something like this can save a whole bunch of time because we just don't have enough time to call every lead and that's okay that's where automation comes into play so let's actually jump into the tools and proceed from there okay so i've just logged into make.com and make.com is going to be acting as our integration layer connecting these different tools together so the two tools that i'm using to kick off this process is tally and Tally is basically a form builder where you can collect information. Now I'll just jump into the form so you can kind of see what I built. So I built this little interface here where the client can just enter in the mobile number of the lead that they want this text automation to send to. And I have another input where they can select the type of automation they want to run. So. This was in the scenario where we had many different automations or many different text automations that we wanted to trigger. So this was just a little interface where we can get that uh, mobile phone number really. Now, we don't really have to use Tally. We could use a Google spreadsheet with you know, a whole bunch of mobile phone numbers. Um, this was just at the time what we needed and that's what we built. So the next tool that we use is Twilio. Now, I just want to talk about Twilio and how awesome it is. It's a great tool if you're looking to do anything related to voice, anything related to SMS, and it's kind of like a SMS voice platform that is powered by some pretty powerful technology which allows you to just give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to your requirements and building unique types of applications and workflows. So I highly recommend you to go through the Twilio website and you can just sign up to get a mobile phone number in your region and you do have to go through a bit of identity verification checking and that process can take a bit of time so just make sure you account for that time and just start testing it out just start playing with it 
Um, it's a great tool and I hope to build more automations with it. So let's just go into this Twilio module, right? So I set up my Twilio account already and I've added my connection. And what will happen is when you begin to use a functionality called the studio, the studio is this. And it's where you set up the individual messages for the SMS uh, voice bot. So basically what we're trying to do is we are trying to integrate into this workflow that we've set up. And that's what this make automation is doing. So basically we've set up that workflow and I called it the fencing bot and when you have your own Twilio account, all of the studio workflows that you set up will be available here under Flow SID. So you select your specific flow that you want to trigger, and then you want to enter who you want to send these messages to. So you would have seen that we are collecting that from Tally, from that front end, we want to trigger those messages. And we've got the from address, which is your Twilio phone number. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward to set up this, uh, to set up this create an execution module. So what that's going to do is it's going to just send that number to our Twilio execution in this studio. So let's now just jump in and dive into the Twilio studio. Okay, so this is the Twilio Studio, and this is where we've set up our individual messages and our workflow. So you can see that this starts off by a REST API, and this is the flow name, which was the fencing bot. That was the SID that we had in our make module. And then we've got a bunch of URLs here. And this is um, when we set that up in make. Um, that's why we set, up, set it up in make first and then we integrate it with Twilio. So basically we can do a whole bunch of different triggers, right? We can trigger these flows based on anything we, we like really, an incoming message, incoming call, conversation, and then subflows. I was just triggering this based on a response that we had received a phone number. So that's why I used the REST API. And then let's just jump into the types of messages that I was sending. So you can see on your right here, you can set up individual messages. So if you go send message, what this is going to do is it's going to send a message, um, right? And the type of module I was using here was a send and wait for reply because that's the interaction that we wanted in text, right? We wanted to get that uh, message sent and then receive a response from the individual. And then once we've received the response, send that next text. So this is that first text that we sent. So basically the widget name is important uh, it's called send and reply. You can call it whatever you like, but um, I think it just auto names it. And then the message body, right? So this is that thank you for your interest in our fencing solutions. What style of fencing are you interested in, right? And you can do things like um, have some timeouts and exceptions and that kind of thing. Um, in the beginning of the flow, I talked about, you know, in the scenario where we don't, we get no reply, you know, what, what can we do, right? So, and this is where Twilio, you can kind of set these rules and these exceptions. So basically, if there's a no reply, we're going to send out this other message, right? And just remind them, hey, are you still looking for fencing solutions? If so, what style of fencing are you interested in, right? And... And this is basically how you can set up that alternate flow. And in the scenario where it's a happy path and we get that response, right, from that first message, then we continue this flow, right? And we're asking if we can get the address for 
where the message, where the work needs to be conducted, and then subsequent messages follow. So these are all send and reply, uh, I guess, modules. And the last one that I use is just the normal send message. Now, it's great that we've sent all these messages and we've got all of these uh, replies from our individual customers. What we want to do is we actually want to collect the responses from our customers, right? And that's why at the end of this, I set up a post request to post all that information from all of those widgets where we collected those responses to a make module, right? And I'll go through what's happening there in the next step. But let's just have a look at these parameters. So what we did was we've got this post response. We're posting this to another make another make automation. So this is that this is that other make automation. If it loads So I have that web hook here and what I'm doing is I'm grabbing that, I'm posting all of that information from the text and then just adding a new row in Google Sheets and collecting the response in Google Sheets. So if we go back to our Twilio Studio, right, we can see that what are we sending with this post request, right? We're sending those individual modules and the information that we receive back from each of the modules. So if we go to edit, you can see that this is the structure for how to, um, uh, how to get that information for the, let's say that fence style. So that was one of the first questions that we asked is, you know, what type of fencing would you like? And that was the send and reply one. Um, we did, this is why send and reply one, right? So that is referring to this send and reply one. And, and basically what we want to send is the inbound body. So it's just inbound dot body. I think it's a little bit of cut off there. And yeah, that's what we've done. So we've got the, we've got each of those widgets. We're collecting the inbound body. So the fence style, right, and location, the time, and all of the information that we need, right? So then at the end of the day, what we get back is a Google spreadsheet where we've got the number of the person giving us the information, the lead information, right? The type of fence style, the location, and I put, I think, the time of day as well. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. Okay. So let's see a demo of this working. I'm just going to enter in the number here and then the automation I'm going to run and I'm just going to hit submit and it's submitted the form and this is my mobile phone number. You can see here. And this is the Twilio message that uh, I've got on my phone. So I'm going to just respond to this. And why did that disappear? Okay, so I'm gonna respond. I need chain fencing. Great. I'm gonna enter that in. Okay, can you provide us the address? Say one, two, three. GC Av. Great. When's the best time? 7 a.m. Monday. Thank you. Our team will be in touch shortly. Okay, so you can see that those were the messages that I got on my phone and they were being triggered by Twilio and then Let's see if we've got the response back in our Google Sheet. And you can see the response here, right? So I said I need chain fencing, that was my address, and that's the time I'm available. 
And there you have it. It's pretty simple. You can do more advanced things. If you like this, then like and subscribe for more. And there you have it.